My family said there were the Givingtons and the Grabbingtons. Scratch my back and I'll, I'll, I'll tell you anything. <laughs> Not sex or drugs or anything like that. <laughs> oh, wonder. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> you used to always take them out. <laughs> Do you think growing up with not much makes you appreciate what you have? Oh gracious, yes. I used to look at mum and dad and think they were just beautiful. We used to sit around the table, dad would wag his leg after he'd had a couple of drinks. He was lovely. Do you think back in those days it was easier um, for families to be happy together? Oh gracious, yes. And I think it was easier for them to be sad together. In living, you know, at a time when there wasn't much money, and how, what did that teach well, you? Well, you about never life? had it. People never had. There was no higher purchase. What, what did that teach people back in those days about life? Restraint, not to live beyond their means. And so many people today live beyond their means. You know, how are you different than uh, a kid growing up today? How are you different? Can you really I don't know. I just like being me. I think youngsters are um, greedy. A lot of children are very greedy and very rude. My family said there were the Givingtons and the Grabbingtons. What do you think you've been? Hmm? What do you think you've been? Well, life? I hope I've been a Givington. Been I'm not giving to get back. It's not that. No. Not to make me feel good. It's just that uh, I love giving. I was so blessed. Perhaps you don't understand that about truly blessed. Funny. Well, I couldn't say anything, could I, you silly <laughs> That's why you've got to say it now. <laughs> you silly fool. Because there was a few funny ones. Memories, memories of an 86-year-old 86, 86 grandma.